Hello, planner friends. It's Foxy Missed Plans, and I'm back with another video. This time, I'm doing part one of my planner collection slash my planner storage. So what you're going to see in both part one and part two is how I store all of my kits, um, my washi tapes, etc., just everything stickers. So these four notebooks here are our primary focus today, and I'm going to start with these two here. And in particular, I'm going to start with this one. These two are the notebooks. Pretty much all of these notebooks are from Target Dollar Spot or just Target in general. And then I use Avery, um, these. I use these from Avery. And I get these from Walmart just because it's cheaper than Target. And then um, that's what I store all of my stickers in as far as like my kits when it comes to these binders. So this first one in pink super cute when I saw it I had to grab it and I decided to make this my scribble prints co binder just because she is the only shop right now in my store in my collection that needs an entire binder um so here we have dividers and I use these they are also from the target dollar spot and with the package is six dividers and three folders and I picked up two sets of these just because as you've seen I have multiple binders so I needed multiple sets of dividers and for this particular binder this first section that's divided off is just multicolor. this is the only thing I have in here just because I don't really have a collection of her multicolor stuff but that's okay. The next section will probably be like my multicolor collection because I'm subscribed to her color club subscription. And so that's the second tab here. And this is um, the two that I have so far. I've only become a recent subscriber, so I don't have very many. Now this next section are my mystery kits that came in with these or didn't because I did take a couple months off from color club. And so here um, are the mystery kits that I keep and I just have them all stored away in here. And then my next tab here is for anytime kits so kits that aren't seasonal they're not you know i can use them whenever i wanted to so in here i have uh the lemon drop kit and fools in love and those two are pretty much my only like anytime kits they were just ones i couldn't pass up i didn't have a specific week in mind or anything so that's how i got those kits into that section and the next these are kits that i'm saving for special occasions um whether it be my friend who got engaged anything dealing with her wedding like bachelorette or the actual wedding day or wedding week so that's what's in this section here and so yeah these are all just for special occasions including my birthday um or when i go travel usually i do get to travel for work occasionally so this last section here are all of my seasonal kits so um think like fall and you know anything super holiday themed so um that's what i have here i just have three of those kits so that is my spc binder i love love andrea stuff she's so talented and she even draws some kits herself and i haven't gotten a chance to pick those up but i hope i get to someday and then this next binder are all of my other kits. Um, it's a really pretty black and white. So um, that's kind of just how I know all of my binders are different. So I know the pink is SBC. This one is all of my other kits. And then the other two binders, I know what they are as well. Um, so in this one, I, it's pretty full. Um, as you can see, it's pretty loaded. Um, but it is summer, so I'll be using some of these kits along with my SPC kits. And I have these pretty much separated by shop unless like the back sections are, it, that rule kind of doesn't apply, they're like the exception. But this first section, um, again, these dividers are from the Target Dollar Spot, but in this first section is all Shop Jessica Hearts. So we have all of her kits here. And I have quite a few, not enough to have a separate binder for it, but I do have quite a few. So there's Shop Jessica Hearts. And then the next tab is Glam Planner, which this kit is gorgeous, I can't wait to use it. All of her stuff is really gorgeous, but yeah. Yeah, um, this one in particular. So these are all the kits I have here for that one. Some are pre-sales, some are from the main shop, just depends. And then um, next we have Firefly Paper Shop, just because I really love a lot of her designs. I just, she falls in the same price point as Elle and Andrea, just because it's a little bit more expensive than I would like to, like to spend on a kit, but sometimes I do like go ahead and buy the bullet, get the, get the kit because it's so gorgeous. As you saw, I did before. I don't know why some of these are, it's so full. To, I think this bottom ring is like causing me trouble. So let me fix that really quick and I will be right back. Okay, now that that's fixed, we're on to the next section, which um, is one of those sections where the rules just do not apply. And in here, I only have a couple kits because they fall into that same category of, they were just so pretty, I need to have them, but I don't have a specific occasion for them just yet um, or a specific category. So they fall, they fell into here. So, so here are the two kits in here for that. And on to the next section. So in this next section, again, seasonal items. So here um, we've got a fall kit and a Christmas kit. And then um, this last section really doesn't have anything in it. And I just left the folders in here. So um, that's pretty much everything in here. I guess I could take the folders out and maybe they take up a lot less space. I'll just leave one in here. Okay, so that's everything in the second binder. All right, on to this one. So this like 
foilish beauty. Um, just puts me in the mind of like all of my favorite things, one of which being foil because I love foil stickers. So pretty much all of my favorite functionals go in this binder. So that's how I know what this one is. Um, so yeah, we'll just get into this one here. Again, I use dividers. Uh, I did get two sets of these. First section here are all date covers and they're all by ColourPop, just hands down my fave. Um, so yeah, that's the first section. And then this next section are more foiled, as you saw peak, but they're Clever Girl Crafts. And um, I do keep the wax paper on there just because I am st storing them this way and I'd like to preserve the foil as much as possible. So yeah, let me fix this one because it's not really covered in there. There we go, that's better. So yeah, all my Clever Girl Crafts sits in here and yeah, I just recently got a new order so I have some new things in here as well. So yeah, that's everything there. And then this next section is the Fox and Pip. Got me some Fox and Pip girls, actually quite a few girls. So, so cute. She's another favorite. And then um, next is Playing Roses. Like I've been following Jenna with her shop well, I've been following Jenna from Planting Roses before she even had a shop. It was when she first started planting and she hadn't even started making her own stickers. So I have a pretty good collection of her stuff, mostly functional items. I do get kits every now and then, as you saw, but like I still have these um, and some new stuff too. Next is another shop that I slowly have a growing collection up for and it is Piper Paper Company. I've been following her for a while too. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But yeah, it, great stuff. She's improved her paper since her logo's been like this. Like her sheets now, like the matte paper is awesome, which if you didn't know, I'm totally a matte girl in particular premium matte, but that's beside the point. Let me just show you the rest. And I do have an order for this section on the way, but this one, hence, um, I saved the purple, like all purple and white divider for this one, just because the purple is my favorite color, fun fact. And, um, this shop is just a hands down favorite. I just can't afford it all the time, but I love, absolutely love her stuff. And I'll tell you why in a minute, but it's also paper co. She is not on Etsy. She has her own website. You do collect points and all that good stuff, but this is perfect. And this is what I love about her shop. She has multi-packs like this of the girls, but there's six different skin tones from light to dark. And she also, for the like more darker skin tone girls, she also offers hair texture options, um, which a lot of shops don't do. In fact, I don't think I've found any other shop that will offer a range of skin tones along with hair textures for the darker skin girls. So I love how Danielle did this. The girls are so cute, so functional. They're great size. I featured her stuff before, but I just put in an order for some girls that she has now retired. So once I show them to you, you won't be able to get, the, get your hands on them, but amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. So here for it. And I can't wait to load up with a whole bunch of these. Like I want to have my own binder of Oso Paper Co. That's how much I love the shop. And yeah, I use the crap out of this. But yeah, that is the third binder. And we're going to move on to the last binder. Um, this one is like the first binder I purchased because it was the first time Target Dollar Spot added these pin loops. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, so this one's kind of older. You can tell it's, got a, it's a little bit more worn than some, some of the other binders. Um, but here it's just all random functional. There's no rhyme or reason to it. So here we go. So starting off with random are these, let me pull all of them out because I have them like in separate places. Okay, so I have these four sheets here and they're the weather and it's all by Paper Loving Mommy. Each sheet was $4 and you can still get these. These are just an older sheet, but you can still get them from her shop. Extremely functional if you need to keep track of the weather. Like I would say these are the best to do it. They fit right over, like in Erin Condren, they fit right over the date. Let me show you real quick. If I take this, gonna zoom in a bit. So say I've got my high and low written down here and it's for Friday. You can just take this, put it right there and it fits perfectly. It's so cute and so functional. You, if you're looking for some really good weather stickers, these are it. You know, it'd be funny if I left that sticker there and it happened to rain on October 13th. What a random, random thing. Okay. So yeah, that's the first thing in here. Next is I created sections out of these folders. And so this section is mainly work and school type of things. Let me zoom out. So here we've got some desk, more desk. Um, we've got um, some like, um, sorry about that. I have to take a quick little break. Um, something fell. But here we've got like read, study for, um, prepare for it. It's all school related. It's by Stein Co. on Etsy. And there's even some uh, study group meetings here. So also Amber's Design Studio is no longer open. She closed her shop a few months back, maybe several months back. But yeah, I have these. She had a lot of school related things. And then I have this sheet from Creating Co. Um, I got these from my audiobooks and I read those. And then from Creative Keo, I have these file folders for keeping track of paperwork that's supposed to be submitted to me that I don't get. So um, yeah. I'm going to stop rambling. Next section is on to, um, I guess, it's more like a tracking kind of hodgepodge. Here we've got a Paper Loving Mommy June kit. 
And then we got some personal size habit trackers from Planner Kate, some mood trackers, I River Street stickers, and you know, some more habit trackers. And then I just threw these in because I wanted to fill it up, but it's um there tabs for your planner. I'll show you briefly. I put them on my deluxe monthly Erin Condren and this is how they turned out. Really nice. So and they're removable so I don't have to worry about like I was easily able to reposition them. This next section, speaking of labels, um, oh yeah, I have this Mecom sticker, but these are all like appointment labels. And I just have like, oh, and some heart checklists or something in there, some flags, <laughs> but yeah. And then I have like random sheets in the pockets that I just don't know what to do with. Um, this is like a dishes sheet from Mickey Plus Three. Then um, in this section, it's kind of just like, I don't know, sparkly stuff or they got some sort of, some form of like glitter or sparkle to it. So I got these and yeah, I really need to like organize this better. Speaking of which, um, yeah, I need to organize this binder. Um, it's pretty disorganized. I tried to have like a theme to it, but it just wasn't working out. So I just kind of started sticking stuff places. So that's all that there in that section. These are leftovers from planting roses. And then I have like a random two piece for a kit. And then um, some stickers by Miss Adeline here. And who can leave out Mona? Love Mona. Um, and yeah, then some random, random things in the pocket here. So those are my four notebooks. Well, my four mini binders. I also have four photo albums full of stickers. So we're gonna go through these one by one, starting with the first one I put down. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so here, got these. These are all just really functional. I'm just gonna flip through these. And then uh, the Knockout Print Shop actually doesn't make these anymore. Um, she's more of an Inkwell Press type of shop, um, which really makes me sad because now I've got to figure out how to make these myself or find another shop that does. But I get direct deposit. That's just how my paydays work. And this is like the most perfect way for me to mark that. But this is all I have left. And then I have this Create Sheet from Kina Press. I have more Kina Prints, but I'll get to them. This next binder, Lord, not binder. This is a photo album. But this one is my SPC slash Glam Planner. So, so pretty much you'll see all of the $2 Tuesdays that I have and Teeny Tuesdays. So all the SPC ones first. I'll have to say I really started collecting more last summer was when I started ordering from shops heavily. And the first thing I ordered was the, I think it was either June or July mystery kit from Scribble Prince Co. And I was using Happy Planner at the time. And I just, I haven't looked back since y'all. It's been really fun. I have spent a lot of money, but um, yeah. So now we'll get into Glam Planner, all the teenies that I have. But yeah, honestly, like these are so cute. They're my favorite part of Tuesday. All right, and the next uh, photo album I have here is more random things. So if I run out of room, a lot of times I'll just put stickers in here. Um, I have these girls left over and I really, I'm trying to find a kit to use them in. So there are those. And some of these are older and I just haven't like used them up yet. But that's okay. I have them. That's all that matters. So yeah, there's like a mix in here. Love these. These are my faves. They're new. I haven't touched them yet. Some more planning world that I should have put together. So yeah, those are the four binders and my four photo albums full of stickers. And I will be back with part two.